हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल कोडिंग विद आनंद टुडे आई एम बैक विद माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ऑटोमेटिक क्वेश्चन पेपर जनरेटर दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन डॉट नेट ए एस पी डॉट नेट विद वेब फॉर्म्स टेक्नोलॉजी एंड द डेटा बेस इज एस क्यू एल सर्वर एंड दिस इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट्स मेनली टू पार्ट्स द फर्स्ट वन इज द टीचर एंड सेकेंड वन इज द एडमिन पार्ट the admin is able to uh, create all student and teachers and uh, other information and the teacher is able to uh, create the paper and uh, generate and the generated papers are uh, mail to the admin and uh, they are also visible to the admin section as well so this is uh, the brief uh, introduction of this uh, project so let's start the first uh, login is basically admin that is pre filled in Uh, our uh, database and this is the admin panel one more thing there is a validation part as well so if you provide invalid user id and password you will get uh, invalid user id password error as well so let's start with the other things okay so this is admin home page there are two branches uh, in the branch section you can create any number of branch it and uh, let's suppose i would like to create accounts we can create fine so branch has been created courses within the branch we can create any number of branches uh, any number of courses let's see we have created a, a bca and bba uh, in the particular i think we should display the branch as well but no problem at all so bc and bba let's suppose i would like to create a new batch called mba and the course name is master in business admin and the number of semesters are four <laughs> let's save it so we have created this one so in this way we can uh, easily create and update all those stuff let's suppose six and save okay 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 my mistake uh, course section i forgot to add certain things let's go to course we have a button with name this one we okay actually we have provided some uh, validations that's why in order to ignore that kind of thing we will have to update the code accordingly let's uh, add it and uh, let's suppose i am going to edit it save it fine so it's updated now so basically i'm m m c a MC is right, but uh, MB. I was trying to update MB, right? Six. Fine. It's six now. We can update to four because four B contains four semesters now. So this is the uh, what we basically have to do in our course section. Go to subjects. So subject is nothing but uh, they are related to uh, uh, some courses. we have to select the course let's suppose uh, we have created mba and in the semester 1 we are basically providing subject code the subject code is mba-1 and the subject name is uh, let's suppose uh, uh, financial accounting and let's save the subject the validation is uh, also there you can see if you do not select the validation uh not select the course okay wait fine let's see so validations are also there so uh, everything is working fine and uh, we can edit it as well uh, i think computer is okay this is not like that financial accounts let's i like to update accounts save this is also not working the same way i have to go to the subjects dot asmx page subject 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 here is subject the same way on the same way i forgot to add cause validation to false so that uh, the validation will not occur in case of added button so few small mistakes that will also increase your knowledge let's save it fine so we are able to update the course as well so 
course code subject code okay 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 basically we have to define 101 fine so this is the course code so this is uh, our MBA first semester course number 101 uh, let's suppose I would like to add uh, MBS part 2 then we will create subject and MBA 201 so like that uh, in our area this is a convention that is basically followed so this is a lecturer part we can add n number of lecturers let's suppose the management uh, the lecturer name is uh, let's suppose uh, Rajesh Kumar and his mail uh, there is validation at all okay fine and email is rajesh at the rate gmail.com let's see it so rajesh has been added and uh, we can add it as well but the same way uh, i will have to update the cause validation part as well so this time i am not going to spend my time so uh, lecturer is not directly able to log in till we do not create the uh, user of it go to students so we can add student in first semester student name is let's suppose uh, Ravi Kumar address is Noida uh, uh, at least three characters wrong with that mail and contact number is 999 Find email uh, ravi at the gmail.com and let's try to save it. What happens? Ravi, I think uh, I have provided some incorrect parameter in students. There is a validation part. name must be given name must have at least three character text name is there let's remove it fine let's uh, try to create again master in business administration semester one Ravi Kumar in case you face any issue in this code uh, uh, I can help you uh, Noida and uh, contact number okay 999887 it's ravi at the rate gmail.com and let's save it so uh, the information has been saved we can add it as well so this is uh, how we create students this needs to be updated now mm -hmm. so much there are a few mistakes that uh, can be easily corrected the small changes needs to be done so these are papers basically whosoever the teacher basically has uh, generated and completed all those questions and then the pdf can be uh, read from this particular area uh, i explain you this is the portion uh, that belongs to the lecturer part the teachers part whatever the teacher create a paper for a particular course or for a particular uh, subject and he will define some section and number of questions once he completed all the questions define all the questions inside uh, for the paper he will have to generate the PDF of that particular uh, sub, uh, subject or paper and then after generating that particular paper will be uh, displayed here okay so this is uh, there is no role of admin here admin is only able to see how many papers has been generated so let's go to the users part so we have created a lecturer we can create two types of uh, user the lecturer and the system user system user is same just like administrator except one thing that he has no rights to add users all other rights uh, the, uh, the uh, system user have okay so we are going to create a lecturer the lecturer id let's go to the lecturer part and the lecturer is uh, lecturer id is uh, rajeshna210 so let's go to this one role is lecturer 210 the validation is also there fine so the username is uh, rajesh and uh, 
ओके यूज़र नेम इज़ देयर ना राजेश कुमार एंड राजेश इज़ द यूज़र आईडी पासवर्ड लेट सपोज माय नेम आई हैव टू चेंज इट टू पासवर्ड ना नो इश्यूज सो फाइन सो द यूज़र हैज़ बीन एडेड टू द यूज़र्स लिस्ट and uh, the other things are user can a, a user is able to update his profile name let's suppose i can update it to my name so the user name will be uh, anand singh at this end uh, i think uh, this is basically not reflected anywhere okay no problem at all so there is a change password option where the admin can update the password as well and uh, we will log out let's talk about the rajesh user and the password login and uh, this is the teachers login uh, uh, all other details related to rajesh is displayed here here is the papers option <coughs> there is no papers has been created so for the purpose of uh, creation he is basically here he select semester 1 and then whatever subject is uh, uh for the subject he is allowed to create uh, the paper let's create a paper code mba-101-a so this is my first paper code the number of sections are three and the number of questions are let's suppose 10 we are going to add 10 questions uh save it so the paper has been created let's go to the select so this is the screen And that will display you all the questions that has been added to particular paper so let's add it we will define the section number 1 and uh, this question paper belongs to what i think financial accounting na uh, what is financial accounting and their types uh the question marks are 15 let's save it fine let's add a new question um, what are business accounting let's add it the question is 15 okay fine let's add it in the section 1 i am going to add third question uh, the question name is uh, what are the uh rules of accounting and uh, let's pretty add on my section number 2 i'm going to add the fourth question what are debit and credit rules so this is 15 marks question and let's add it what are ledger and how they are created uh, 15 you can see we can see the preview of our question paper this will be a question papers preview let's go to back add question add question button will be available till you do not complete all the questions till you do not add and you can see that there are four buttons mail to admin Uh, i think this should also be not uh, this should not be available till we do not uh, generate okay so uh, what are the principle principles of uh, accounting it's 15 and uh, what is partnership firms 15 let's add in the section number 3 i am going to add what are the different ways of higher purchase system okay done and 15 question that's it Let's add one more question. What is the difference between what <coughs> financial accounting and financial management? 
team that's it add and the last question is uh, what uh, are journal entries and how they are made in journal book and uh, 15 let's save it now look now you can see the add question button is now uh, hidden and uh, we can see the preview this is our question paper and uh, we can view the pdf as well it will take certain times and uh, now you can see the pdf so this is the pdf that has been generated and uh, you can uh, generate look at this uh, right now this is not generated but once you click on this generate button this will be uh, visible at the admin panel let's click on generate button now go to papers now this is generated and i will be available to the admin section and mail to admin mail to admin is basically divided into two parts there will be two uh, mail ids first uh, mail id is related to the website that says that from where the mail will be sent it and the second will be the mail id of the admin to whom this mail will be sent it uh, i think uh, my hotmail id is uh, the id where this mail needs to be sent it 1737 right look so mba101 you can see this is uh, the question paper that we have created recently so this is on my mail and this is of my website mail uh, i have updated in my web.config the information related to user id and password of uh, that mail from where the mail will be sent to the admin so the mail sent successfully and uh, the paper is now ready to go so uh, generation has been done preview has been done now let's log out and go to admin section and uh, let's go to papers and you can see that uh, this paper is now available for the admin he can view the pdf of that particular question paper so now the question the question paper will be uh, available for the admin he will take print out and then distribute to the students for the examination like all other functionalities will be done from the admin side so this is what the automatic question papers modules done so this is what i have created in my video in my project this is automatic question paper generator and uh, few more options can be added in this project if you suggest uh, you have any suggestion related to this uh, project you can connect to me this project is uh, based on asp.net web forms as you have already seen that i have created all those things the connection string is available inside the web.config file and the database is basically sql server so if you are looking for this project or uh, you can connect to me uh, the uh, this project uh, is very useful for the students in order to understand the functionality so this is simple code written in asp.net this is using uh, this is based on asp.net ado.net basically for database connection i am using ado.net so no hard code uh, no difficult code uh, has been written here uh, if you want to see the code you can see that i am using simple insert command and simple select command and all other stuff so there is no, nothing that uh, uh, there is will be a problem related to the pro code so if you, you like this project uh, please uh, like hit the like button if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe my channel and uh, i will come again for with my new project till then thank you very much and uh, thank you